what is poppin'? Today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite makeup brushes! Woohoo! What a great topic! <laughs> So I wanted to share a few of my favorite makeup brushes, just, you know, if you're a beginner, you're starting off, or you want to buy brushes and don't know what brushes to buy. I'm not gonna lie, most of these brushes are more free and, you know, just because they're affordable and I guess they're kind of hyped up, so I decided to give in to the hype like a normal person would. And yeah, that's what most of my brushes are. So let's get into this video so I can show you guys all my favorite brushes and what brushes I think perform different tasks, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys my favorite brushes and honestly the simple ones because if I actually showed you all my brushes, then we'd be here for hours. And um, I don't want a video that goes on for hours. So over there, back there is kind of where I store my makeup brushes. I have some extras in my drawers, but I don't really use those. Those are the ones that I kind of use but don't really use. Not my favorites, you know, kind of just on the sidelines. They, they, they don't get a lot of love, whereas these do get a lot of love. So um, also, I want to give a fair warning. My brushes are kind of dirty um do not come for me we all have dirty brushes do not pretend that you don't get your brushes dirty because we all do our makeup with our brushes so they're bound to get dirty so yes do not come for me thank you starting off with the base brush this is the morphe y6 brush this is for foundation i'm not gonna go too long on this but it's just a perfect dense buffing brush laura lee loves this i love it it's great you know check it out love it Next is the Morphe Y11 brush. This is a brush I use for setting under my eyes. I feel like it just fits under my eyes, like in the concealer area, just perfectly. And really, I guess it's like the dome shape is just perfect to press in the powder into the skin. And also the bristles are really soft. I love this, the gold collection from Morphe, which is sad because they're discontinuing it, I believe. Which is really rude because um, everybody loves these brushes. I know so many people use it, so I'm kind of confused, Morphe. Hello, like, what are you doing? But um, I do love these gold brushes and tend to use them a lot. The next brush I'm going to talk about is the Morphe R14 brush. It's just a perfect bronzing brush. It fits into that hollow of your cheek where it gets most of your cheek area, but goes down into the hollow of the cheekbones at the same time. So it's just perfect to bronze up, and I feel like um, the hairs are kind of raspy, so they really pick up product to really go ahead and, you know, bronze the cheeks. Alright, next I want to talk about the Morphe M536 brush. I believe that this is actually a under eye bullet brush, or that's what it's called, and it's meant to be for concealer, but I actually love using this really dense dome shape to buff out my contour. I take my Fenty Beauty contour stick and just contour my whole face because I really need it, <laughs> and I just buff it out with this brush, and I just think it gets the job done. It's really easy, kind of quick, and... Honestly, it's the only cream contour brush that I really use. The next face brush I want to talk about is actually talked about a lot on YouTube. I feel like everybody uses this for a blush. It's the Morphe E4 brush. It is from the Elite Collection. It just fits on the apple of your cheek so perfectly. And honestly, so many of you YouTubers have talked about this, so there's really no point of me rambling on. But it's a great blush brush. The top of it is kind of bigger, so it just fits on the apple of your cheek. And you could pull it back to the, I guess, to your hairline, kind of to where your contour is and just places the blush perfectly. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can, but it's really not making any sense. <laughs> the next brush I'm gonna talk about was honestly straight sent straight down from heaven. It's the Morphe R36 brush. Um, I'm a highlighting freak. I love highlighting, I love blinding highlighting. Bl blinding highlighting. I love the, that, oh, that rhymes. I love blinding highlighters. So this brush is, I guess, I'd say raspy and it honestly just picks up so much product so even if there's like a highlighter that's not too blinding it picks up enough product to the point where you could put it on and you could actually see your highlight and then the more you build the more intense it gets I feel like it's just a great brush that really picks up the product because I've used highlighter brushes before but they don't pick up the product like this does especially for powdered products this is the highlighting brush to go the next brush that I want to talk about is the Real Techniques Multitask Eye Brush. Honestly, this is the Multitask Eye Brush. It's so perfect where it blends out your transition shade, your crease shade, your outer corner shades. It's just that brush. It's, you know, it's just that brush that fits into your crease perfectly, just blends as it goes. It's just the per per perfect size and blending brush. Honestly, I don't even know what to say about this because, I mean, you get the point. You could just tell by looking at it how good of a blending brush it could be in Real Techniques brushes are so soft which I love 
The next brush that I want to talk about is the Morphe M506 brush. This is also very popular all around YouTube. Most people do use this brush because if you're working with vibrant colors, this brush, it like packs on the color using the tip because it's so small where it gets into like detailed places in your crease, but it also is kind of fluffy to the point where as you pack on color, it also blends it out at the same time. So it's just small, convenient, and amazing to use for especially colorful looks. All right, my favorite brush to blend with the crease is the Morphe M514 brush. It's kind of small, which I love. It's really tapered to the top. They have long bristles and it gets really tapered at the top. It's not too fluffy where it makes the color go everywhere, but it's not too small where it doesn't even blend your eyeshadow. It's like that perfect medium size that really blends colors, especially in the crease. The Morphe M421 brush is perfect for me to lay down shimmers on my lids. It just picks up the product. It's like that perfect small shape to really get all over the lid. Honestly, I don't really use a lot of lid brushes. It's honestly the only one that I really use. So I can't really tell you if it's amazing compared to other brushes, but it's the one I use. So The next brush that I want to talk about is my Mommy Makeup Cream Definer brush. This is like honestly a random brush. My mom literally just handed this to me. As you can see, it is very dirty, but... This is my go-to cut crease brush. If I'm doing a cut crease, I'm using this brush because it just has that perfect dome and it's really like, like the bristles aren't like sticking out where it makes your cut crease messy. It's just like sharp and clean where you get the cut crease to where you want it to go and it creates that perfect line effect, that sharp line effect without getting, you know, concealer everywhere or like bristles coming out and stuff. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention my favorite nose contour brush. This is the Equal Tools something brush i don't know what brush it is but it is an equal tools brush i love blending out my nose contour with it it's like dense and small so it just fits on the bridges of my nose all right these brushes i'm just gonna go through really quickly because they're not that big of a deal but this is just a random kylie um eyeliner brush i love using eyeshadow and taking this brush to just stamp it on my lash line with eyeshadow to give that shadowy liner effect this is just a random elf um spoolie that i use for my mascara and my brows that you know perfect for that and then i have the morphe e36 brush this is a detailed crease brush sometimes i apply my nose highlight and inner corner highlight with this brush and i also do my lower lash line sometimes or I even use this in the crease to pack on color so it's a really universal brush it's like that perfect small size and it's really precise so i love using this brush for literally everything all right guys that is it for this video i hope you guys found a couple brushes you guys might want to try out um and i don't know just enjoyed me talking about brushes for how many ever minutes long this video is straight <laughs> and i hope to see you guys soon in my next video thank you for being here and just supporting me bye